a big hand. He now has corrected it. It is down there. The Forest Kelly is in cement for life. Forever. Have a good time. Only be a couple more minutes. I heard a Marine. Where is he? Oh, 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 oh. Months until he could pay it. The end of family. Yes, Bill, I know you want to jump in here. Well, I was just going to say some of his inspiration for the aliens were the people he saw walking along the street. That's exactly what I was leading up to. <laughs> he, he got me again. <laughs> but anyway, if you go down the street here and, and in front of the Musso and Frank restaurant, you will find his star. And I know that he's looking down today with a big smile on his face saying, hey, I wanted to be there because he talked to me about this long before it was ever planned. But he had it right up in his mind that he was going to be here this day. So he's here, he's looking down, and we'll never forget Gene Roddenberry. Thank you. writes fast. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. From back here, I mean, watching you write, Michelle, there's something. All right. What's taking them a little while is they write two or three letters and then the press yells and they look up and pose and then go back to writing and that's really how you can misspell it. That's the way those things happen. And they only have... It is done, ladies and gentlemen. It is now history. Could I have one of those pencils? Can I have one of those pencils? All right. What am I bid? What am I bid? And now, ladies and gentlemen, when I get the full cast up here on the stage, I will, uh, Leonard, would you like to, oh, you told me to uh, go over the bill first, though. Because the one question they have all been asking is Star Trek VI, the final, and Bill, Star Trek VI, without question, is the last of the Star Trek movies. Uh, I tell you, the heads of uh, Paramount, who are wise men, told us that this was so, and we never go against what the heads of studios say. <laughs> okay, let it... Leonard, they'd like a word from you. All of you, just come up, a word for your fans. All right. I agree with Bill. <laughs> uh, whatever Bill says is right. Uh, I would like to say that I wish, I do wish that Gene Roddenberry could be with us today. Uh, he does have a star on Hollywood Boulevard. I believe that I'm correct in saying that he was the first writer to be so honored. I think that's an important uh, fact because for each of us standing here, there are seven of us here, and it's, it's a great treat for all of us to be together, but I would say there are probably 700 directors, writers, producers, craftspeople of various kinds who made very important contributions to the Star Trek series and to the Star Trek films. So we are kind of the front line for them, but they, they are terribly important people, and it's a great pleasure to be able to, to thank them for us today, uh, for, allow, for helping us to find ourselves in this position 25 years after it all started. Thank you all for coming. Well, 
uh, is this is this the final one? I disagree with Bill and Leonard. Okay. Uh, I, I disagree. Hold, hold with it one second. I tell you what we'll do. We'll have them sing it for you, and then if you don't mind, they can turn around and sing it for the press over here. Is that okay? okay? Uh, All right. Now say it again. Uh, I you said it to them. I said it to them. <laughs> I just want to say that I disagree with what Bill said, and I disagree with what Leonard said. Uh, Star Trek 7 will be in the, in the making, and it won't be long. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, you didn't say it was going to be big. <laughs> As Leonard said, uh, there are many people to thank. Uh, we would like to thank also the Man's Chinese Theaters for this distinguished honor of being embedded in this immortal cement. We would like to thank you, the fans, for you are the reason we are here. Uh, and I also would like to thank Gene Roddenberry. Uh, Without Gene, none of us would be afforded this honor, all of the many wonderful things that have happened to us in Star Trek's longevity. Thank you. I'd like to uh, thank all of the same people, and I'd particularly like to reiterate something that Leonard said and perhaps underscore it. If it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. And the writers are, have been uh, always uh, uh, made a, uh, an invaluable contribution to the success of Star Trek. Uh, they should not be neglected or forgotten. Uh, going back to the, the, the days of the television series, right on through the motion pictures, uh, it starts with the writers. And uh, I think our success is uh, certainly uh, to be, uh, t they must be acknowledged in our success as well. Uh, I'd also like to say that I haven't done this since I was nine years old and lived in New York and was a member of the Payson Avenue Braves. And at that time, um, the things that I wrote were not publishable in a family newspaper. But uh, this is a great honor, and uh, I find it absolutely extraordinary. I can't believe that, it, that I'm a part of any of this. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, I thank you all. If it wasn't for you guys, we never would have been here for 25 years. Thank you all very, very much. and giving us all of this. I thank Paramount Studios through the years who have uh, brought us to six great motion pictures. Um, I thank my co-stars, whom I love very much. They've been so great. And Mom, Daddy said I'd be here one day. And oh God, I'm here. And I thank all my friends. Jim Meehan, thank you, love. And I thank all of you. And I'll see you on the 9th of January out here in my star, okay? <laughs> okay. On the future of Star Trek, I agree with what Bill Shatner said. We do go by what our bosses tell us. And I think our bosses don't reside in the executive <laughs> corridors at Paramount. My bosses are all out there. And you're going to tell us what the future is. Star Trek's going to be. And I never dreamt that Gene Roddenberry's galactic journey was going to have us landing right here on terra firma Fantastic. in this historic man's Chinese theater right on this ground. It's been a fantastic journey, and frankly, I think we will keep on trekking. <laughs> Thank you. I think the best way to close this out, other than thanking all of you for 25 years of great support, and you've enjoyed it as much as they have, I'm sure, maybe more, 
But I think the best way I could close this out is just a little reminder. You can see the film tomorrow all over the world. It will open at noon here in Hollywood. And I'll just say that as the mayor of Hollywood, I now officially proclaim today Star Trek Day in Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you all very much. I now officially proclaim today Star Trek Day in Hollywood. Thank you. Is that good enough, guys? Good to, as always.